you're mad. What could you do? You can't do anything. You get on a prescription drug. You drink a little bit. We have drinkers out there. Where's the drinkers at? Drinkers? Yeah, man. Yeah. All got designated drivers? One guy. All right. They're like, Pat, we're just walking. We just need somebody to hold us up. That's all we need. Yeah, man. If you're going to have a designated driver, always, you know, designate them like at the start of the evening, basically. Uh, yeah, don't wait till like 3 a.m. I designate you! You big, you got tolerance. <laughs> Plus, you were just drinking beer. <laughs> you know how to come across, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, man, anybody here been pulled over drunk driving? Anybody? Just, just me on that? Okay, that's all right, that's all right. <laughs> 1983, they got me, yeah, they make you go through a field test. You gotta touch your nose, walk the line, do the ABCs, right? But I went to Catholic school, right? So I was sitting there going, hmm, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I've never seen a cop get that angry in my life. <laughs> Flip dad's going, no, you can't sing them, you gotta say them, woo! You ever try to do it without the tune? <laughs> if you're drunk, it's impossible, isn't it? I was like, A, Z, L, M, N, O. What's next, breathalyzer? Because they don't let you do it. You can't go, now I did my ABC. Can I go away scot-free? <laughs> they don't let you do it. Sometimes I'll tell you to do that alphabet backwards. Backwards, folks. Yeah, whatever you do, don't do this. Don't go A, B, C, D. They hate that. I know about this because I was pulled over a few times back in the day. I got pulled over one time. He said, you been drinking some? Was I swerving officer? He said, no. Was I weaving? He said, no. I said, what the hell? Made you think that I've been drinking? He said, maybe it's that case of beer. You got roof your car right there. What that? That was called a clue at the academy there, Homer. Right. You get pulled over speed and they always ask the same question, right? Isn't it always to know how fast you're going? Like it's a test of some sort, right? I looked at a guy one time. I said, 60 miles an hour. He said, speed limit is 55. I said, yeah, what they say. You can go five miles an hour. Ooh. He said, who are they? I said, I don't know. He said, well, when you find out, see if they can split this with you, right? Oh, man. I'm a married man, folks. Married guy. Been married, uh, let's see, 12 years. Together with my wife for uh, 16. I take care of my seven, my six-year-old kids, like Mr. Mom during the day, because I work like 20 minutes a night, two or three times a week. You know, I got a little time. Good news for guys in those numbers, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Married 12 years, got a seven to six year old. Guys, if you're worried, woo, marijuana does not make you stir. All oh, case anybody's worried about that, it does turn your hair gray. Because um, I got beautiful kids, most beautiful three eyed boys you've ever seen in your life. Perfect vision, 20, 20, 20. I don't know what the big deal was. I did take care when they were little babies, too. They were both three months old. My wife went back to work full time. Yeah, I found out why men say taking care of babies is women's work. Because it's freaking hard, that's why. <laughs> I'd have my mother go five days a week to help me out. <laughs> Anybody got little kids, like a two, three, four year old? Two, three, four year old, two, three, four year old. Ooh, what do you got there, sir? Yes. 14 months, brand new baby almost. Give her a big round applause, yeah! <laughs> Boy, girl? Little girl, she an active baby? You know what I mean? You're gonna change her diaper, just spinning like her tissue. That's what I'm doing right there. You're catching poop like your day outfit at Yankee Stadium. That's what I'm talking about. Shoot, stringing the doo doo. <laughs> but you got a little girl. Is that the only, only child, or you have another one? Oh, oh, another one all the way. We already gave you one applause. Can't give you no. Ah. <laughs> but uh, now, uh, how old are the other ones? Twelve. Both of them are twelve together, or we're we going to do math. Um, okay, so yeah, one other one and one on the way. Okay, okay. I'm getting confused here, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> But uh, the great thing about an active kid, as they get older and you take them out to public places like Chuck E. Cheese or something like that, the nice thing, by the time you leave that place, everybody there knows their name. <laughs> Daniel! 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 Dan da Daniel! Because you know people are walking out going, boy, that Daniel was a handful. What, what, the, what the hell was going on there? They get back from Chuck E. Cheese. How was Chuck E. Cheese? Well, Daniel was there. <laughs> well, no Chuck E. were anywhere in the house. <laughs> Daniel definitely in the house. So it's rough when they're young, you know? You know what? As they get older, though, it's cool. You become a little less concerned. I'd ha yeah. Now, here's what I mean. Like, when the boys are, like, one and two, I would heard, I'd hear this from the other room. <laughs> Go running in. Everybody okay? <laughs> You're okay? He's okay? No bump tests? Yeah, everybody's okay. <laughs> yeah, seven and six now, right? I hear this from the other room. <laughs> Pick it up, pick him up, whatever! <laughs> Do it now! I'm just
just saying you become a little less concerned. That's all I'm saying, you know. Because you can only go in on so many false alarms, you know. It's like, what was that? That was, that was just a couple of shoes in the closet, Daddy. That's all that was. Yeah, it does sound like the whole freaking house is coming down, doesn't it, Dad? <laughs> That's what I live with. How, now, is the 14-month uh, walking? Walking? How old was she when she started walking? Ten months. Uh, my first kid, nine and a half months. I'm not talking to you. Uh, <laughs> second kid was eight and a half months. We think it was from the speed. I don't know what the hell you were doing. Um, <laughs> But when they first start walking, that's when it gets crazy to take care of them, right? Oh man, from nine and a half months to ten and a half months. For an entire month with the first kid, I'm going nuts, right? Then at ten and a half months old, I sit him down in a chair, put on that magical dinosaur. Oh yeah! yeah screw you people, I love Barney. I had 35 minutes of peace and quiet. I didn't care if Barney was associated with the devil, folks. I didn't care. Man, I was loving Barney so much, I was having sex with my wife. I was thinking about Barney. Oh, oh, that's her. She was getting suspicious too. One night we got done, she said, How was it? I said, Super D duper. <laughs> Terrific, that's not good, huh? Whew, she threw that purple negligee right in my face. <laughs> yeah, I think I clued her in and I was slapping her ass going, who's your dino, who's your dino, who's your dino? <laughs> yeah, but don't worry, she liked that, yeah. I know she liked it too, because she was watching too much Teletubbies, because she said, again, again, again. <laughs> and then I turned into SpongeBob going, yeah, you know how to do it too, right? You know how to do it. Halliburton, mm-hmm. Dick Cheney set it all up. <laughs> yeah, man, geese, ducks, he don't care. He looks a little bit like Elmer Fudd, doesn't he, Dick Chase? <laughs> kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. <laughs> and, and Bush, to me, Bush is like President Yosemite Sam. And that who he is? Hi, Hussein! I was giving you 48 hours! <laughs> to get out of town! <laughs> who the was? How's it coming in after you? <laughs> Rabbit. I'll blast you! Army. <laughs> He's a little crazy. I think after September 11th, I think we need some crazy in the country, folks. Hell in yeah. fact, yeah, yeah. In fact, I think Bush's campaign's slogan gonna be, you want crazy? Ooh, I'll show you crazy. <laughs> you see, yeah. Think about the message that would send to terrorists. It's like, you guys think you're nuts? Guess what we just did? We just reelected George W. Bush. <laughs> We're crazy, we're Lex Schwarzenegger, look out. <laughs> we are, man. But Bushy does take a while to answer questions. You know, that's why people don't like him. You ever see him, you know, they ask a question about the Middle East. Well, Sam was, uh, 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 <laughs> A threat. <laughs> okay. Right? It take a while to answer that question, right? Which is a lot different than Bill Clinton. You ask him a question, he never shut the hell up, you know what I mean? Hey, <laughs> ask Clinton the question, he's like, well, we were trying to get it through, you know, I went to the Congress, you know, I went to the House, I went to the Senate, I had a backroom deal, we had an all new plan. I was thinking of the heart of the American people. Because when these type of decisions are trying to be made, that's what you have to think of. You have to think of the heart of the American people. If you're not thinking of the heart of the American people, when you're making such a decision, those are the type of things. That's right. That's right. Yes, that's right. Yes. 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 You, you have to think of the heart of the American people and you have to think of the children. If you are not thinking of the children and the heart of the American people were making such a decision at this point in time, you could not more fo move forward to the 21st century and I could not sign that piece of paper because of that. And that's the reason why I didn't sign it. And you have to take that as my explanation because I am a leader into the 21st century and I would not be denied. 